Hey guys, it's Tate here at Bad Fest Day 2 for the AU Review. Risha, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah. Um, you're pretty new to the music scene, I'd say. Yes, I am. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? So my name is Maisha Young. Um, I grew up in central Queensland, Warabinda, a small Aboriginal community. My family's all my family all grew up there and yeah, I lived there with my mum, my brother, my sister, my nan, and yeah, just family. Yeah. yeah, nice. And so when did you get into music? Oh, um well I first started singing when I was about Eight, eight years old and yeah. it sort of just went on from there and I really love music and I really love singing first time I sang was probably yeah when I was eight in, the, in, in front of my church nice so that was like yeah so that's when I started really getting my passion for music and it just grew over time and then how did we start hitting stages when did we make the leap oh oh <laughs> okay so I moved from I moved from Queensland to New South Wales okay with my friend Steve and um, like he's really good at writing music and all the stuff and so we just like came together and like started writing melodies and you know like songs and music and then he just sent it off to a couple of producers and it just went on from there and then like people wanted to book me for stuff and I was like oh my gosh okay okay yeah. okay Nice. Yeah. And you've supported the likes of Adrian Eagle and yeah. Baker Boy, and you're going to support Briggs soon. What's it like being on the road with those guys? Oh, it's awesome. Like, like when I first met Baker Boy, I was like, this fella, like, he's, yeah, he's real deadly, eh? I love mm-hmm. it when he, like, you know, he sings, uh, raps in his language. Yeah. Nobody knows what he's saying, but he's just so, like, captivating stuff. I don't know. But, yeah, no, it's really, it's. It's a really good experience and it's really exciting for me. Yeah. Um, and you've just come off the stage of your first festival performance. How was yeah. it? It was good. It was good, even though there was like no one there. Like, I still, I still rocked it, I reckon, I think. Oh, I straight up, I can confirm you did rock it. You <laughs> crushed it. She opened the show today and it was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> That's all right. Um, how would you describe your sound? Because it's like she has a phenomenal voice. Oh, it's like, um, I reckon like R&B, sort mm. of like soul, but like electric kind of sound, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like the best I can really yeah. tell you. I yeah. feel that. And you're not on Spotify. Where can we catch you? No, um, I'll actually be releasing something really soon. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, within the next month or something, um, it will be on Spotify and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not really sure. Are we talking a, a single or an EP or what sort of body of uh, work are we talking? A single? Yeah. A single? Very good. Um, and you also use your own language in your songs as well. Yes. Um, can, for someone like me, what 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 are you saying? So I'm saying um, Nyarangu Nyuntu. Mm-hmm. Uh, my project is actually called Nyarangu, which is okay. what happened. And Nyarangu Nyuntu means what happened to you. Okay. So in my song Self Care, it says Nyarangu Nyuntu. It's like what happened to you. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and um, what else am I saying in the songs? Um, hold on, give me a second. Honestly, I couldn't repeat it back to you, but. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it would be it would be hard for me. <laughs> um, um, well, in one of my songs, I'm saying I love you and I miss you to my little sister. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah. How does that go again? Sorry. See, so, I'm. Um, yeah, it's alright. It's yeah, alright. It's hard to sorry. recall. Like, How I'm important is your culture and like heritage to your your craft to songwriting? Oh, it's really important. Um, I like to carry my culture wherever I go. You know, um, carry my people, my community with me. Um, it's very important spiritually, and yeah. Yeah, well, I really dig it. I'm really, um, I'm a Wathorong woman myself oh, from near Geelong. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, for me, I'm always like Baker Boy and things like that. I get such a kick out of seeing yeah. seeing heritage oh, in music. Um, yeah, so where can we catch you next? Where, where, what's what's coming up for 2019? Oh, man, that's a big question because I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just going with the flow. All right. And yeah, like hopefully you will catch me around. Uh, I will make sure I catch you around. I will start petitioning. If I don't, I will be like, where is Misha? I haven't seen her in ages. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Um, I don't know. I want to do more live gigs and I um, mean live performances, more gigs. Um, you know, when I release this music, mm. we're working on more music at the moment. Yeah. So we'll just see where it goes, eh? Cool. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for this. No, thank you. Cheers.